What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. I got the legendary FBG Young back up in here. Our interviews be classic. We done did this several times. Young got millions of views on YouTube through music videos, interviews, blogs, and just people just stealing his videos and uploading them and shit. How you doing, legend? Chill. Chill like a villain. Keep me low, sorry. Get a low. Uh, most definitely. Legend, I want to ask you a question that I always ask you. And I kind of want to ask you this question now at this point. What's the state of the drill culture in your opinion? I don't know. I ain't in the drill culture. Right. You tell me that you're not part of the drill culture. You don't want to be considered a drill rapper. But, you know, you are close to it. What you mean? Like, what's the state? Like, with my opinion? Like, how? It... How is it? Is it, is, it, is it for the worse? Do you think it's getting bigger? Like, like what's your mindset on it? You just don't like this drill rap shit. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, with the drill rap, see everybody thinking it's just a uh, they could do the shoot 'em up, bang bang shit. So a lot of niggas shit be weak as hell. It's only a handful of niggas who can really do the shit. And then that shit really watered down to me. That shit washed up. Right. Really though, I I think I think the uh, females in Chicago are going crazy now. Right. A lot of people been saying that lately. Yeah. Yo, why ain't a lot of people getting rap deals? But I see the drill culture is getting bigger. I see people in New York. Using it, I see. I just seen some people get super famous off this shit in other places. Why ain't like no new famous drill Chicago rappers? I mean, a lot of a lot of these niggas do got deals though. They just probably fuck their deals up. You know, they ain't even talking about that shit. A lot of people got deals, some some type of deal, distribution deals or something though. Right. A lot of they ass do. Right. I, I mean, it. this shit out here, they definitely grabbing that shit. If you doing numbers, they come to grab it. Right. No, I get it. I get it. You know, I don't want to beat around the bush. I kind of want to jump right into it. We done did this several times. I done asked you about your neighborhood and all kind of shit. You know, I kind of want to jump right into it if we can, you know. It was a video that went viral of you maybe about a month, month and a half ago. You know, it kind of shows you in the casino, you know. Kind of like a stranger kind of approaching you, you know. He was, you know, vocally kind of aggressively, you know. Can you explain what happened that day, that moment, yeah? <laughs> shit at all. You see the video, shit happened, but right. he was drunk as hell. His ass was highly aggressive off some beer. His ass was drunk, real drunk. But before the um, before they the video, I had already like uh argued with his ass before type shit. He was arguing within the the table type shit, like just saying a lot of drunk shit, just being. Annoying and shit. All right, so this was happening already. Yeah, like before the video. So I guess whoever recorded the video probably thought they was gonna have a uh, a viral moment type shit. Right. But the shit started off like his ass on some drunk shit. He asked me like, uh, he like, damn, little bro, which number should I bet on type shit? I my goof ass. I don't even like drunk people. I need shouldn't even say nothing to his ass. I'm uh, shit. My <laughs> my number seventeen. Right. He load up on 17. As soon as I say that, that bitch come. Now, we playing Russian roulette, you know, you batting on numbers and shit. Okay. That bitch come. He get so happy, he motherfucking hug me like this. But, you know, he taller, so he hug me like my head type shit. <laughs> right. I push his ass. I'm like, bro, you don't know me. Yo, I was tweaking. Yo, I was drunk. Fuck is you on type right. shit. He trying to treat me like a fag. And go up from there. On my head, I'm like, I'm a friend of my move. I shouldn't even be talking to a drunk ass anyway, type shit. You feel me? He said all type of shit. He did that come to his head. Right. That bitch tweaking. Did you know at that moment you was being recorded while it was happening, or this something you seen later on when you got home? Uh, now nah, motherfucker, I said to me like by the time I was down there. On my way back to the crib, type shit. But at the same time, though, no, I ain't see motherfucker recording, but I, I be on point, so I know exactly who could have re recorded that shit. But you see in the video, like I went, I went pressed about the shit. I'm looking, right. I pay attention to him, and I'm paying attention to my money, type shit. So I wasn't looking at nobody, nobody or nobody around me to even see if somebody was recording. That nigga, that nigga looked at the whole casino trying to make a scene. You feel me? I was dolo trying to tuck off in that bitch. But I wasn't even trying to make a scene because I know then it could be a bigger threat in that bitch. Food, drunk ass, ain't no nut. Gonna motherfucking lose his life in the parking lot somewhere. 
You said dono, so you was by yourself. So young, you still move by yourself at this point where you got millions of views and shit like that on YouTube? Free dolo. You know, that might not be the best the best move at this moment. It is what it is. So, you know, the internet got certain videos say that was the ops. The ops called Young Black, and that wasn't the enemy. That wasn't the ops. That was like a random person. Man, if I'm into it with food that old, I need to go sit down somewhere. Me and him need to go sit down. Right. Now, you know, I wanna, you know, you know, I don't want to start nothing, but I got the edge. And hold on, you had the most, you talking about it went viral. Yeah. Your channel had the most views with this shit on that. I mean, I, I, I got to be. It's the free mobile channels that hit it. 80,000 free mobile channels, 65,000. Yo, shit had yeah, that 80 the first day. Yeah, yeah. You know, I seen that I said, now, it, I want to be honest with you, young. I thought it looked it kind of dangerous, though, you know. Why you say that? Because he, like, he was being a fake aggressive. Right, you know, th normally, you know, just because he was loud don't mean nothing. But, I mean, he was loud and then, you know. It was threats about you was telling him to go outside and all kind of shit, young. I ain't say go outside. I say, and I thought it could lead to something. I say, then which door you walking out? Right. How do you talking? How you gonna think you gonna do all this and you gotta? We walking right out this bitch. Like it, we can walk out this bitch together. You see, I told him that too. Like, what's what's going on? You see, it was some. He's with some uh, with some redneck. You see him in the back. He say some shit like. You better get out of here, homeboy. <laughs> I like, what the fuck are you talking to? Boy, I'll fuck you up, fool. Like, who you talking to? Both of y'all that. You feel me? But I ain't no, I ain't, I don't be too loud in that. You know what I mean? I'll be chilling. You know, after that happened a couple of days later, 16 shot of visuals, the legendary 16 shot of visuals, he went live on YouTube. You know, he had the legendary Big Wani on there. You know, and it kind of seemed like maybe somebody got a drop on you or something like that. Allegedly or something like that. Or maybe Big Wani was just talking crazy at the moment. I mean, it, it, it could have been that type shit. Because he the nigga who sent me the video type shit. Oh. You feel me? Trying to get fooled and some shit. Don't even know what's going on type shit. But, yeah, he did not send me. He did not, uh... He then I sold that that, that footage for some perks. Should have died on them bitches. Should have sold some fit now. Died on them bitches. Dang. So I mean, you was there. I mean, you was actually leaving, and a video came through with your, your phone or like sent to my own DM. And you seen two on the, and on the video. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's wild to me. And what's up? Why you ain't speak to me? Why you ain't walk me out that bit? Cause he tried to act like he was in the. Yeah, that sound kind of dangerous now, yeah. You know, I'm glad you got out that situation, though, you know? Yeah, we're gonna keep talking about that shit, though. Mm -hmm. uh, last thing I do want to ask to get off of that, though. You didn't, how did you feel about seeing videos of, like, Memo 600 and Shark on Land kind of, you know, talking about that incident? You know, a lot of people had an opinion on that. I don't feel no type of way about no nigga that's gonna sit on uh, Clubhouse all day. So a nigga that's down there, um, you see what they doing to him. You see what they doing to him. Ain't no nigga never took no chain from me or uh, ran me from my my block or I'm signed to another nigga type shit. Ain't no nigga, uh, what what you say, shark on the land? What you say, shark on the land? Yeah, shark on the land. What he supposed to be snitching and shit? You can't talk on no, you can't talk on me when you got all that shit going on, you feel me? I hear you on that. I just wanted to know your opinion on that, you know, because it was going viral and I seen people speaking on that. You know what else I seen? I seen somebody say, you know, I think this was FBG Duck Mom. She kind of was speaking on rumors that KI liked the King Von, saying that wasn't true. You know, they tweeted and went viral later on in life. <coughs> people that, it, it, that people read them tweets the wrong way. Uh, 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 did K.I. have a crush on King Von, in your opinion? Uh, people read that the wrong way, didn't they, yeah? I don't even talk about that internet ass shit. Like, right. man, that shit was what it is. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Most definitely.
What about the news that's trending with Nizo and J.A.G., you know? His sister kind of went live, you know, saying some strong words about Trap and J.A.G. You stay away from a lot of that shit, don't you, Yeah, yeah for sure. I don't even want to talk about that, either. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Right. You know, you know, it's like everything in y'all neighborhood become news and shit. Do you know why is your neighborhood your focal point of the, of the drill culture or the YouTubes and shit like that? I mean, that's like the whole Chicago shit, because half of these people that's that's supposed to be in, like, with the camp ain't even from the neighborhood. Right. So it's like, there's a lot of people out of Chicago. I get it. You know, I got another question that I don't involve you, but, you know, it is linked to people it's who... It's a cold for Linked to his old is. It's linked to FBG. You know, billionaire Black and Ruger kind of went viral on the internet. They going back and forth. You know, Ruger kind of apologized, though, on the internet, you know, to be honest. You know, does that separate y'all when you see people like that beefing that you know? Can't separate me, shit. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. Ain't got shit to do with me. So you stay out of that, stay out of all of that type of shit? Yeah, that's out of my control. What, 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 what I'm gonna do? So these people you know growing up with, you know, people that used to be around y'all all the time and shit like that? Shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Get to it every day, B. I get it. I totally get it. What about Lori Lightfoot? I'm going to ask you about that, the mayor of Chicago. You know, I see some videos where they call her OTF Lori and shit like that, you know? To be honest, I don't know nothing about her. Yeah. I just see, like, the memes and shit, but, like, I really don't know nothing about her. I don't even look you know, into her. Duck Mom tend to say, you know, she don't really like Lori Lightfoot. She tends to say, you know, she kind of painted Duck in the bed like when Duck passed away. But she kind of supports Lil Durk and, you know, his charity events and shit like that. Like you said, you don't got no opinions on her. On who, Lil Durk? On, on Lori Lightfoot. You talk about him. On Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> uh-uh, nah, because I don't, I don't I know her. I get it. I don't know her type shit. I wanted to ask you that because I see Duck Moms, you know, kind of speak on her too. It's a lot of things that go viral in your hood, you know. Like I find it crazy. Like recently news broke through of a guy named 50 Shots. You know 50 Shots? Yeah. 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 You know, news just kind of broke through that they gave him a hundred and something years. Is people over over exaggerating that, or that's something you heard too? A hundred something years. Yeah, I think they over exaggerating. Right. Yeah, I think it's like eighty something, like eighty five or something like that. Oh, that's the eighty seven or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Right. You know, he's not a rapper. I don't see anything on the internet about him, but a lot of people know about him. He is a rapper. Are he what? Yeah. So you got songs on YouTube? Yeah, videos, everything. Oh, I did not know this, John. I had to go check that out in the cold. Yeah, he, like, like 2011. Oh, okay. So when it first started and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. You know, I want to tell you something, though, young. Somebody told me that, you know, you know, this might come off a little police too, young. But somebody told me that he was locked up for the murder, allegedly, of a guy named Whitey. King Von raps about in his song Demon. Um, I want to ask you this question, you know. You know, I ask you about this on all the things that I always ask you about with people in your neighborhood. Shit like that, you know, how do how do all these stories get on the internet like that, you know? Mm, I don't know, shit. I can't tell you, shit. I be trying to see too. <laughs> You know, it's a lot of things that get on the internet from your neighborhood from guys that's not even famous, and I find that crazy. You know, you didn't want to speak on the whole thing on Barney when you was on DJU. You. you know, he asked you about your response to Lil Barney. You didn't really want to speak on it, but you did speak on it, you know? But after you left, you know, Barney kind of responded to some of the response y'all had and shit. Yeah, What's your opinion on that, you know? Um, what'd he say? And they just basically saying, I don't want to respond and go verbatim for what he said. It was kind of strong, but, you know, basically. I can't tell you how I feel about that, too, but. Basically, he wasn't talking about y'all. Uh, you know, he don't fuck with y'all and shit like that. Oh, know? shit. I don't, I don't know him. Shit, it's so shit. I told y'all I wasn't talking about him. Just like, shit, you can't be. Um, I think, like, going to the studio, like, rolling in the studio and shit. Then making this song, and then motherfucker gotta help you 
uh, into the crib and shit. That shit crazy. I hear you. I don't want to ask you that, man. I ain't want to start nothing, though. But, you know, when people drop songs like that and don't name drop, you know, I guess when it's subliminally, you know it's against you. Because he claims that the song that he dropped wasn't a diss record. It had nothing to do with y'all. But when talking about him, I don't, I don't listen to that music. Right. I don't hear this song. You just tweeting some up and people just taking the shit and making videos. So. I ain't even tweeting, man. I put it on Facebook. I don't even know how they do that. Damn. Is that wild though? Is it to that point now where anything you throw on your storyboard, anything you post on Instagram is instantly going on YouTube? Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't be going live and shit like that. Right. I bet that do irritate you, you know? I never really looked at it like that. I bet that does get to a point where it's serious. You try not to post your kids and shit like that? I don't know. I post my kids, though. Right. But, like, while well, I was, like, going live, me saying shit, knowing content that they gonna take, I don't right. be trying to do it all that. What was that video with you getting arrested and shit? What was that all about, young? It seemed like they was gonna break your arm and shit on there, you know? You, know, like, you, was, you, was, you was toe up in that video. What was that about, you know? I was old, that was probably like 2019 or some shit. Man. Shit, they actually was harassing me, man. I need to file, get filed a complaint on it, yeah. Right. Now, matter of fact, I think one of the police, he got locked up for a battery or some shit, but yeah, they be harassing me, man. They try to, um, they try to put a gun on me. Oh, I don't want to put a gun on me. Yeah, you know, I can't go, so, you know, me. I wasn't going, though. Yeah. <laughs> what about your arms? Was you okay though, young? After they got you down and shit, like yo, you yeah. hurt your arms and shit on there. You had to go to the hospital and shit, yeah. No, nah, man, I was good. Right, you was fired up in there, but you did, you overcame that though. They did take you to jail. You had to find out all kind of shit like that. No, nah, I think I got it. They ain't charged me with the gun. Like, oh, uh, okay. man, they found the gun in the car, and I wasn't in the car, but right. they caught me though. So they were trying to, they took me to the station. Right. Yeah, they ain't read my rights and nothing and all that. But if I would have waived my right, they wouldn't have told me what I uh what they was gonna charge me for. Oh. I, I they asked me I want to ask the question, oh yeah, they did you see a gun? Nah. You know it was a gun, nah. Walk out. They if I would have waived my rights, they was gonna charge me just put the gun on me. They walked out, uh locked me up for a trespass and up some shit. I went to the county. Damn. Yeah. Got lucky, bro. Now you gotta, you gotta be smart. Gotta like you feel me? That's crazy. That's wild. You man. go in that bitch, think you in that bitch for a murder. No, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they just throwing the gun on your ass. All you gotta do is say, I ain't see no gun, I don't have no gun. But they say now with the body cam videos and arrest videos coming out that you can't say nothing. I mean, I don't know. That's why I can't say I ain't see no gun, I ain't have no gun, because right. they got body cam. They didn't catch me in no car with no gun, nothing. Right. I was on the next block. And they just bent on you, seen you. They seen me. I took. I run on their ass. Right. They came, kicked the door in, and try to put the gun on me. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Young, know, I also seen something that said you was. You know, I asked you about that. You told me you was shot before, but I seen something that said you was shot four times. Something like that. Yeah, I did not know you were shot that many times. Now, were these all in the same incidents or different times? Oh, I'm not sure. I shot like um, I think probably on three uh different occasions. Okay, probably, yeah, I got shot twice. That's crazy. Yeah. One time, twice. Yeah, that's crazy. 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 Yeah, that's crazy told on scrap or something like that. Uh, rumors and things like that. I also heard that Rondo number no. 9 took the stand in this trial. Is this true or is this something that's just on Chiracology and Reddit and shit like that? I mean, if you the real truth teller, you need to dig that shit up, man. Don't be asking me. You know, that Because you in the culture, though. You know, look, I figure the look, best opinions look, come from people in the culture. It's niggas, they out here getting real life paperwork and shit now. So they down there 10 steps ahead of you. You need to right. get on that. Right. Uh, upload your information. Right. You feel me? That shit should be out there. Right. Right. That's crazy. 
Now, you know, I tend to try to ask you guys, because, you know, I know you guys are in the culture. To get it from y'all is almost stamped when I get it from y'all, you know. But, but, but I get it, though. You know, Charleston White, you don't feel no type of way with him. That shit is just him talking and shit. You didn't find that video where he was kind of dissing y'all and wooski and shit, you know. You don't, you don't find him serious. It's just the internet, dude. Besides him disrespecting my homies and shit, or uh, disrespecting us, that nigga really don't be saying shit wrong. He just got like a fucked up delivery. Right. Yeah. Oh. What you mean by that though? He don't really be saying nothing wrong. He don't really say. He don't say nothing wrong. So just how he deliver it, motherfuckers don't like how he talk with it, so they don't. They don't really take heed of. You mad me of my daddy, though. My daddy, all, everything my daddy used to teach me or uh, tell me growing up, mm -hmm. shit was true. I just really ain't really listened to it because his, deli his delivery for like how he was saying the shit, how he was installing this shit, so it was really fucked up. Right. Feel me? Like he used to cuss a lot of shit like that, so that shit make me mad. I'm not even listening to the, the mess. Right. <laughs> a lot of the young kids like that, though, they don't, it'd be hard to get the message. I guess all the grown up delivery. Yeah. Yo, what's going on with the music though? I see you just dropped the song Martian too. What's going on with that? I don't know though. I see. We're finna end it out, yeah, young. We at twenty one. Let's cap it out with the music and end it out, young. So what you got going on with the music? I I, I see you just dropped Martian too. It seemed like that's just a song. I think you got a project finna come too. Yeah, man. I'm finna drop Martian too. Um, uh, shit, man. Ducky still working on Way Been Three. Shit, and I'm just still dropping singles, folk. Dropping shit till I get a hit. All right. <laughs> you say you keep dropping until you get a hit. Keep dropping till I get a hit. Keep it low till All I right. get it low. Okay, okay. Still independent. Still doing the independent. Not talking to no labels. Any labels in the DM? Nah, for sure. I be having conversations with um, A and I's and shit like that. But yeah, still independent. Okay, still want to do it yourself. What you entertaining though? People knock on your door today. They they ready to sign LPG to one of these deals. You taking it? I mean, shit, niggas gotta. I don't know. If it's right, it's right. What's right though? People say that. What's right? A couple hundred thousand. People keep talking about a million. I heard a million yeah. is hard to get now. No nah, man, I see. Like the deals I came across, the shit was like a hundred thousand for uh projects type shit. That's not good? Hell no. A hundred though, yeah? Well, if you don't recuperate what, what they give you in that first project, they ain't want to dish out no, mo no money for the second project. So you shelf now type right. shit. So if I sign a deal, I already got to be lit on top of them boosting me. So I know I'm going to recuperate the back ends and all the advance they give me before I can rock out with the second album. It sound high tech as hell, but I guess and no, I guess. I mean, you gotta be lit as hell so you can be, so you can, so you can make them money. You know what I'm saying? You can't just they dish out you a hundred thousand and you flop. Now they shuffling your ass. Right. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Last thing I want to ask you, John, before we get up out of here. Last question I want to ask you, and I don't think I ever asked you this, John, but you know I seen this in the comments when I went back to one of our old interviews when I was thinking of some questions to ask. And I seen something that was dope as hell in there. And it told me to ask you next time I see you. This person said they love your interviews too, young. But they told me to ask you, what is your favorite FBG Duck song? <laughs> oh no, he got he got a lot of them bitches, right? He got his my favorite flows with his ass. It's like uh eat. Like that, right? He, um, right now, shit like that. My favorite flows is with his ass is, is, is that gang shit, right? And like that, right now, and shit like that, shit like that. Okay, most definitely. Yeah, where are people gonna find you? Well, let me get all your social media and shit like that. Um, shit, my YouTube, FBG Young Go Dumb, okay, Spotify. Apple Music, all that shit, Judge Young, Instagram, Young, underscore Dr. Real. You jumped in the Twitter game yet? I heard that shit back popping, Young. Nah, oh, man, I can't Twitter move too fast for me. I right. can't, can't get back on that shit, though. Okay. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you, Young. I know you ain't here sure. busy, so I appreciate you, bro. For sure. The homie's true. Blink, 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 blink.
I appreciate that, you know. I'm gonna cut that joint off. Have that ready for you, you know. I appreciate that, bro. I'm gonna get a pick with you.